this is going to be an energy reading for Virgo, okay? So if you are a Virgo, this energy reading is for you, beloved, okay? I'm going to get ready to dive straight in. I ask my higher self, the most high, and the center masses to help me in this intuitive reading. Hopefully I can get this reading done in one video this time, yeah, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you guys have unexpected income, money, or a gift. New money. I see 23. All right? So you guys expect some unexpected income, money, or a gift, okay? This could be financial assistance, okay? Or someone just want to um, give you something, okay? Let's see. We have, you are very intuitive. Water energy. Trust your intuition. You are very intuitive, okay? We also have, I want to tell you how it is that I truly feel. Someone wants to tell you how it is that they truly feel. Water energy. Earth energy. Let's see. For Virgo, you guys have Aquarius. Be an Aquarius. Okay. Let's see. For Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? We have controlling, possessive, obsessive. Earth energy. There could be someone who's controlling, possessive, or obsessive. Okay. Trust your intuition. Someone may want to tell you how it is that they feel, but this could be a control tactic, okay? Someone could be emotionally manipulative. I'm kind of picking up on that, too. So you might want to trust your intuition when it comes to this, because I feel like you you picked up on this, okay? Yeah, this is someone who's possessive over you, obsessive. They're trying to control you, possibly through, you know, emotionally. Maybe they feel like they could pull on your heartstrings a little bit, you know? But anyway, we have new love offer ahead. Water energy. You also have a new love coming in. It could be a water sign. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, let's see for Virgo. We have you're in a poverty mindset going broke. Okay, you or somebody in your energy, they're in a poverty mindset. Okay, going, going broke. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. This could be someone new, someone new that you're interested in. You'll be dealing with a water sign who's in a poverty mindset. Okay, and you have money coming in. So you want to be mindful of this person blocking your abundance. Okay, this person may have control issues, be possessive or obsessive. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Okay, for Virgo. And definitely trust your intuition. You are very intuitive. Okay, let's see. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? You have a manifestation coming in. Earth energy. Okay, Virgo. There's a money manifestation. All right. Something is coming in for y'all. I want you back. Ex-lover. Earth energy. Someone wants you back. This is an ex-lover. Could be an earth sign. Heavy on the earth energy. Okay, it could be a water sign or an Aquarius. All right, let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we got I'm in it for the long haul, long term. Fire energy. Okay, it could be a fire sign in your energy. This could be an ex who wants you back. We have I like to dance, dancer. You could like to dance. This person could like to dance. Take it how it resonates. Okay, we have divine feminine here. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all could have air in y'all char or somebody has air in their char. A divine feminine could be an Aquarius. We hit an Aquarius. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But we also have I fear intimacy here. So someone fears intimacy. Okay, but y'all are. I'm abundant financial gain. Y'all definitely. I told y'all. Y'all are manifesting some type of financial opportunity. It's coming in for y'all. Okay. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know? For some, it might have something to do with you dancing. Okay, I'm seeing someone dancing, possibly like on TikToks or something about dancing is significant. Okay, but y'all have somebody in y'all energy who's in a poverty mindset. Okay, this person could be watching your manifestations come in. This could be someone watching your love life come in to see if you got new love coming in. So be mindful of that, Virgo. Okay, because whoever this is, they could be hating on. What you got coming in? That's why they want to emotionally manipulate you in some type of way. Okay, so be mindful. Okay, again, because I feel like this is someone who feels like they have, you know, y'all have love for each other, but they'll pull on your heartstrings. This is what they're giving. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor card, okay? I'm going to be talking to a Divine Masculine or about a Divine Masculine. Okay, this could be someone who wants to reconcile Cancer, Aries, Virgo energy. So for some, I'm talking to a Divine Masculine, Virgo. Okay, Cancer and Aries energy is significant as well, but there's somebody who wants to work on things. They can be working on a reconciliation, wanting to work on a reconciliation, but there could be someone trying to confuse this masculine Aquarius energy. So let's see. Yeah, whoever this is, they have a plan to slow this masculine up. That's their plan. Okay, they could be breadcrumbing this masculine. Okay, especially if this is a masculine who's um, abundant, you know what I mean? And you got all this unexpected money and stuff coming in. We even had, you are abundant, financial gain. Like, you're, you're gaining, maybe you're, you're slow, you're hardworking, you're dedicated, you're slowly working possibly on your own plan, on your own ideas. Okay? Could be studying, going to school. This is someone who's very uh, diligent, courageous, ambitious, loyal. They're slowly but surely coming into some money. This is someone very responsible too. Dependable, patient. 
Okay, but someone could be dealing with someone who's bread crumbing them. Let's see. We have the hangman card. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Whoever this is, they're going to change perspective about someone who's causing stagnation and slowing them up in their lives. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups, especially when it comes to love. Someone could be taking their time when it comes to giving someone an offer as well when it comes to love. Okay. And a new, begin a new passion in the beginning. So <laughs> they don't just want to give you their heart. They want to give you that one. They want to give you that good, good. Okay. <laughs> This could be someone who regrets walking away, okay, or this is someone who still needs to release. So someone may want to just come come in to release, do some emotional release into your good goods. So be mindful of that because this person could be in a relationship, okay. Yeah, this is a karmic Capricorn energy. So there there could be a karmic, okay, Virgo. Someone who regrets walking away from you, but, or regrets walking away from a, a relationship, or some, or they regret someone walking away from them in a relationship. Because for some, they were with a karmic, or this person is the karmic, and whoever they were with realized that and they walked away from this person, and they're regretting that this person walked away, and they just want a trauma dump. Okay, on you. So I'll be mindful of that. Okay, because this person is a karmic, and I feel like you guys share a karmic relationship. But there is someone who wants a new beginning in love. Okay, let's see for Virgo. We have the star card, Aquarius energy. Someone's also healing the heart. They're keeping their heart chakra open. I love to hear it. Okay, and this heart chakra awakening that they could be going through can be giving them enlightenment, a change of perspective about someone who tried to slow them up or bread from them or someone that they need to heal from. Okay, heal their heart from. Okay, someone's definitely healing from heartbreak. Okay, yeah, with the Ten of Swords here, someone could have stabbed them in the back. This could be someone in a community, a family, okay, could be a friend, whatever. But I feel like someone's healing from someone who tries to, like, Gemini energy ruin somebody, defeat, or have somebody feeling defeated by talking recklessly on them, you know? Someone wanted someone to feel isolated, hurt, betrayed, hopeless, but this is someone who still has hope, especially when it comes to love. Let's see, for Virgo, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some, this is someone who's older than this, um, this is someone who's older than this masculine. This masculine can be younger than this feminine, okay? But I'm seeing somebody very cruel, especially with their words, okay? They can be very overbearing. That's because this is a person who's bitter, deceitful, unreliable. They can be real dismissive as well, okay? Critical of others. So Virgo, nine of wands here, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is someone who's also a wounded warrior. They could have dealt with somebody who slowed them up, okay? They can still be bitter about that, dealing with somebody who slowed them up. Okay, I feel like this person needs to change their perspective on things because they could be acting bitter towards somebody who's committed to them and they're slowing this person up from going towards a new beginning in love. I feel like both these people need to heal. But whoever this Gemini is, I feel like this is someone who betrayed this person, betrayed you. Could be like a friend of yours, Virgo. Let's see. We got the two of wands in reverse. Aries energy. Someone also um, had unrealistic plans too. Whoever this is. This is someone who procrastinates on their plans. Like, they, they set unrealistic plans or they expect, you know, unrealistic things from people. Like, I don't know. Especially when it comes to love. Like, I don't know. Maybe they they, should, they expect people to, 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 um, to procrastinate on what they're doing. They could be holding people back, slowing people up like that, too. This could be someone who always has a plan or a goal or uh, saying they want to start a business, and they never do. They set unrealistic plans. They don't even set the goals. Like, they don't really set it. They don't put plans to set. They don't set goals. They don't, you know what I mean? That's, that's the energy that I'm getting. So if you're somebody who, say, is very business-oriented, okay, you're independent, you have a good work ethic, that's why you have this money coming in for you. This is someone who possibly is jealous of your work ethic because you're someone who will build a plan, have set goals, even go to school to even put forth the, you know what I'm saying, the effort to achieve these goals that you set for this plan, this business. This is someone who will talk about it, but they won't really be about it. They might even, let's say, say they're, that they, they want to do this and do that and do this, but they're they're just talking about it. They're not really being about it. They're setting unrealistic goals for themselves because they're not even setting forth goals or plans to, in order to make this happen. They just talk about it. Someone could begin to change perspective about this too, about someone who was slowing them up. So I don't know if this is like a business partner of y'all's or a friend that y'all were working on a business or playing with, but I feel like, and this person could have even tried to like steal your ideas if y'all had did a business plan or go, okay, but I feel like this is someone who procrastinated when it came to actually putting forth set plans, was really slow when it came to actually putting forth the plan to, to commit to whatever this is, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Reverse. This was someone who was very undecided, moody, possibly jealous about this path that you were choosing, possibly to set some type of plan or goal to move something forward. And this person was just kind of slowing you up. Again, could be a friend or could be um, a business partner, somebody who you, you were telling your plans to or talking to your plans to. They could even try to talk shit about your plans. Oh, that ain't going to work. You know, 
Oh, we're done with that idea. I'm not. I'm, we're not doing that no more. Like real dismissive. They don't want to hear none of your plans. If this was a business partner, they weren't trying to hear. Like they were really cruel about what you were putting forth. Want to be bitter about what plans you did set and put forth. Okay, this is someone who's unreliable, dismissive, and deceitful as well. Like they wanted to hear the plans. You know, they were possibly talking about your goals, your plans. Okay, trying to set you up. You could even got moody with this person. Okay, but somebody too was really materialistic too. I'm hearing two faces as well. Let's see. For Virgo. We have the seven of pentacles here and the two of pentacles here. Taurus and Capricorn energy. This could have been somebody that somebody juggled you with as well. Could be a baby mother, mother figure. Okay. Someone could have been juggling you with someone. This could have been somebody's idea or plan to, to slow someone up too. So I don't know if this person had other business plans or goals with somebody else that they were trying to achieve with. It's kind of giving like somebody had other business goals and ideas that somebody was trying to achieve with somebody on the side. And then they kind of sabotage and what y'all got going on, even though you had great ideas, you, you had great ideas, you had good things going, but they working with somebody on the side, invested in this person, but this is somebody who's materialistic, a gold digger. Somebody who's in it for, I feel like, the wrong reasons. They were really heavily invested in this too, breadcrumbing you in the process of being heavily invested in a gold digger and their plans and their ideas and I feel like whoever this is they were setting unrealistic plans they, they didn't even have real goals or plans set forth for their business and they just heavily invested in this person penny pinching and, and breadcrumbing you trying to juggle you and slow your ideas and your plans up because this person I feel like they didn't see they didn't see your vision but the, uh, whatever vision that they were supporting this was somebody who was procrastinating on it. They weren't really invested in it themselves. Again, they were just talking about it, not really being about it. Somebody was really heavily invested in somebody who I feel like was jealous of your work ethic, of your plans, with your ideas. Okay, you could be a tarot reader or into divination or something like that. Someone could have went to a tarot reader or practice, tried to went to a practitioner to, or paying them to slow you up to, to whatever. I feel like someone's going to change perspectives about this as well how they chose the wrong path. They wouldn't invest it in somebody a lot of time, energy, and finances in somebody that didn't even pick up whatever they were doing. It did not pick up. I don't care how it started. It may have started as a good investment. It didn't end as a good investment because now this person is penny pinching and juggling. They, they're looking at this as a betrayal. And I feel like they betrayed you, breadcrumbed you, your ideas, tried to slow you up in the business that you were doing, and you were actually setting realistic goals. You were, you were literally taking your time, doing little by little, little by little, taking your time. Working hard and diligently at it too. Working hard and diligently little by little and doing this. Receiving enlightenment from the divine, being divinely led and guided to do what, what you felt was heartfelt. This was something you was putting your heart into. That's why you were taking your time. You were putting your whole heart into this. And this was somebody who didn't see your plan. They didn't see the path that you were on. So they, I, it really gives that they doubted you. And they talk shit about your plans. They talk shit about your, your goals. They talk shit about you taking your time with something that's about to prosper. It's about to prosper, baby. It's about to prosper. You got unexpected money and all that coming through. You you got you are abundant. You have financial gains coming in. It's because you took your time with something. Somebody rushed in, invested in somebody who was really materialistic. Okay, they could have invested in a scam. They could have invested in a pyramid scam because I'm seeing a pyramid here too. Someone could have invested in a pyramid scam or something of the sort. Now they penny pinching, trying to weigh out their options when it comes to you know what it is that they should invest their money in now because they don't waste their time investing in something somebody might want to communicate this to you Sagittarius energy or someone was projected onto you them investing in somebody who was a bad investment and wanted to project onto you like you were going to be a bad investment the whole time you were taking your time in whatever it was you were investing in and was wholeheartedly invested in this that's why you have unexpected money coming in and this person is blocked because this is someone who's evil-minded they wanted to play you when it came to your abundance this is someone who wanted to block you Aries Leo Sagittarius heavy Leo and Sagittarius energy Virgo you're going to be recognizing this. You're going to recognize how someone um, tried to block your abundance by evil, being evil-minded, playing you, creating blockages and challenges for you in the work that you were doing because they were more invested in a karmic or a pyramid scam or get quick, get rich quick scam than actually doing something that they, if they took their time with you to work on, it could have brought them abundance too. But instead, they chose to block you. I feel like this is someone who didn't believe in you, but you had hope. Even if they did talk shit about your plans, you still had hope. Let's see for Virgo. We got the four of cups in reverse. Cancer energy. Now somebody's trying to come in with new approaches to an old problem. Now they're trying to solve this problem. They have somebody invest. They're really dealing with a, a financial struggle over here. Whoever this is. Okay. This is someone who has seven of pentacles. They had some, they had a good investment at one point. 
But now they juggling finances. Now they're trying to come up with new approaches to this problem. Okay. And I feel like someone else is like accepting things for what it is. They gonna have to. They gonna have to accept things for what it is. It's a financial loss. It's a setback. Someone's getting, but it's helping someone to get a change of perspective. This also has someone feeling really, um, feeling really wounded. Let's see. For Virgo, we have a justice card. That's because they feel like things are unfair. Libra energy. They feel like the path that they chose, life has been unfair for them. But this is someone who wanted to make false accusations, possibly in court. Someone could have been lying in court, making false accusations. Okay, this is someone who's irresponsible and dishonest. They wanted someone to feel wounded. They wanted to, they, they want to slow someone up, especially if they know that someone has a good idea or a plan that they've been taking their time with. They want somebody to feel some type of way about them taking their time with something that they've earned. That don't even make sense. Because you chose the wrong path because you didn't get no money out of it because you were trying to be greedy and tell me that I'm doing wrong, feed my ideas to other people to a person who's not even really going to even try to even set forth the plan to do so. Whoever they went towards is not a real manifester. They're a scammer. They're a scammer. They were trying to scam somebody's, somebody's business on top of investing in something that they weren't even really going to... I feel like this is a path that wasn't even destined for somebody to be on. If they were feeding somebody your ideas, this is not a path that they were destined to be on. Even though they could have been heavily invested in this person, this is not a path this person was supposed to be on. So they could have gotten rejected. That's why this business or this plan or investment got rejected. Because these were people who weren't playing fair. Someone may even have to go to court because they were scamming. Okay, let's see. We have, yeah, with the four swords, something is being laid to rest. Okay. Someone will be able to finally rest. When it comes to a situation, this is someone who's very abundant, who was treated unfairly in a situation. Somebody was innocent in a situation. Treated unfairly by someone who was trying to make shit. Not only false allegations about how they were getting this money or how they were building this business, but also um, how they were getting breadcrumb by someone who was going and either telling somebody's business plans to another investor or investment or was more invested in somebody pyramid scheme or in scamming than they were actually in something that could have been an abundant investment. Someone could have had to go to court. Okay, someone could be on house arrest. Okay. But whoever this Queen of Swords is, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to put they're gonna have to put all this is gonna have to get is dead. It's gonna have, it's gonna get dead. Heavy Libra energy, Gemini energy. This is this is getting dead. Whatever this is, this unfair game. This person is trying to play. Let's see. Yeah, with the tower card, some type of tower has happened. Some type of upheaval. Okay, somebody has gotten a reality check where there's somebody else who's trapped, trapped in a situation. Somebody tried to set somebody up too. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Somebody definitely tried to set someone up in some type of court situation by get, saying some false accusations, by making lies up. This is someone who's set in their ways. Okay, and avoidant. Someone took something to court to avoid taking accountability. Possibly for them trying to breadcrumb someone's ideas or breadcrumb somebody's business or breadcrumb somebody financially. Some of the sort. But whatever false accusations they're making, it's an injustice. And I feel like Somebody's picking up on the fact that this person is lying. That's why this, whatever this is going to be laid to rest for Virgo. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Someone's definitely going to end up being released or, you know, recover from a situation where they were treated unfairly. Okay. Someone's staying hopeful and optimistic. Okay. They're forgiving a situation or, you know, someone may need to forgive a situation where they could have felt really rejected. Feel like they were being treated unfair. Okay, because you were, you were treated unfair, but, um, and I read this for air signs, like, there's, there's a time to fight, you know, choose your battles wisely. Okay, so y'all could have been treated unfairly, or like, um, there could have been an air sign who treated you unfairly. Take your high resonance, because I could be talking to an air sign, but somebody treated someone really unfairly. Okay, could have broke somebody's heart, but I feel like this was an opportunity to heal, to, to see things for what it is. Okay, accept things for what it is, forgive it, and recover from this. Because when you choose healing and you choose to move on and forgive the situation, that's when your abundance is going to come in. And someone was definitely invested in working against you, but I feel like all that is going to backfire. Okay, we have the page of cups. And I also see someone may also want to apologize about making whatever investment that they did. Someone could be reflecting on a child too, on someone juggling them. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Taurus energy, Capricorn, Gemini energy here. Someone can be reflected on that. On being juggled, betrayed. The Virgo, Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Especially when it came to some type of work collaboration. Like there was some type of work collaboration that left somebody really heartbroken. I feel like one person thought that they were doing a collaboration with one person and then there were two other people on the sideline somewhere. They were doing business behind somebody's back. And whoever that was doing business behind this person's back, one of these people was partnering up with this other person, getting their ideas, getting their, you know what I'm saying, their opinions on business and plans and goals and all of that. And then they were going and telling this other person their plans, their business, their goals that they were setting. Basically grouping up with this person and this one person over here who working by themselves, basically. You know, they, I mean... I will be mindful of who I tell my plans to, y'all. And I feel like y'all gonna get a change of perspective about that, too. About who y'all share y'all business to. Because whoever this is, they were going and telling your business to whoever this other person is. Could even be a friend of yours that you were doing business with or um, whatever. Somebody was doing something on the side. But they had, whoever this is, they were working and collaborating with somebody else on a financial tip, too. But they were invested in them and their and, and, and their dreams and their bills. and they, You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody who really wasn't really putting in the work. They just sitting there listening just like this other person was sitting there listening. While this one person is actually doing all the work. On, on their idea, on their plan, on their on their job, whatever this is. While the others was just kind of lacking or just, you know, was low quality on this skill. And we did start off with y'all building on a skill, on a craft. Like, y'all, this is something that y'all been really working on, possibly for a few years. Y'all been really working on this. And this is something that these other people ain't really invest no time on at the end. They just was talking about it. They weren't really being about it. Yeah, but whatever this is with the death card, I feel like something's coming into an end. Somebody is making change, transforming. Someone could have ended a work situation or work collaboration. No longer working or collabing with someone. Because this is someone who, who was not investing in whatever this is. Okay, Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck with the lover's card. This could be someone y'all really care for. Someone that um, y'all really, you know, love. Whoever this is, they're under judgment for the magic that they were doing. Virgo and Gemini energy. Heavy Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy. Something is being illuminated. Somebody's being exposed for doing magic on someone. This could be someone from the past, okay, past friend, past love, okay. Somebody is um, being exposed when it comes to doing magic on an earth angel. Somebody's learning this, and they're feeling way down and burdened because this is somebody that they loved. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Energy, and whoever this is, they were in their ego. They didn't trust their intuition when it came to somebody who ended something. What else, Spirit? Yeah, they, whoever this is, they're being left out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles, someone could have lost a job. A job could have ended. Someone could have lost a home. A home situation could have got messed up. Okay, someone's definitely experiencing financial hardships, poverty. Okay, could lose a position in a job if they don't actually lose the job. Okay, could lack resources. All right. But I feel like someone was supposed to change and transform the way that they use their finances as well. Because somebody could be in a poverty mindset. We had that too. Somebody was in a poverty mindset as well when it came to finances. This is somebody who would rather scam and steal and all of that opposed of transforming the work that they do. Like actually starting a business. And maybe you were doing that. You started a business and this person was stuck in some type of financial debt or setbacks. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. That's because they were dealing with somebody who was in a win at all cost energy. Somebody who was causing confusion. Okay, when it came to working, when it came to working or building on some type of skill, somebody wanted someone to be confused about building a skill. They wanted someone to be in a poverty mindset. They wanted someone to not receive work or have work. I don't know what that's about. Okay, could be a friend, y'all. Three of Cups. Could be a friend. Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius. Could be a group of friends. Could be a group of friends that teamed up against somebody or masculine. Aries energy. Virgo energy here, so divine masculine, it could have been a group of your friends or a group of somebody friends, a group of friends, you don't even know if you know these people, these could have been just a group of friends that was jealous of you, jealous of the work that you do, about the work that you put in, masculine and feminine energy, you are a boss, that's how these people view you, these people are looking at you like you're a boss, they wanted uh, people to be confused about working with you, they wanted people to be confused about, you know, celebrating with you, these people could have been celebrating about sabotaging something for you, but even if they did try to sabotage something for you, I see you celebrating, you're going to celebrate an accomplishment, regardless of what they tried to do, so you could have ghosted these people, or these people could have ghosted you, these were people who were working against you anyway, so if they were they experiencing poverty, financial losses, these are people who you cared for, I'm not going to stunt, you're going to wake into this, you're going to realize divine masculine, even if you're a feminine, okay, you take control of your life. You 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 set goals, plans for yourself, for your life. And these are people who tried to work against you. People who wanted you to be in poverty. Okay? If they did, like somebody wanted you to lose a home, they're losing a home. If they want you to lose your job, they're losing a job. All that shit comes to an end for them. Whatever they wished for you, 
Okay, and these tower moments, these are tower moments that have that has already happened. So these people could have already lost a job, already lost resources, already lost their promotion. You know what I'm saying? Things are ended for these people because these are people who are trying to scam you in some type of way, work together to scam you. Do you hear me? Okay, or set you back financially in some type of way. They were celebrating this too. And I feel like you went within when it came to these people. Now they're under judgment. You could have took these people to spiritual court. Now they're under judgment for the magic that they chose to do. These could have been like friends that you grew up with. They're being exposed. Okay, you're an earth angel. And these people, they're going to learn not to try to cause people unnecessary burdens. Okay, and stress. Because you are a very loving individual. Very strong individual. And these are people who are in their ego wanting to create illusions about trusting your intuition about them. You're very intuitive. Trust your intuition. We had your empath. Okay. Someone may also want to tell you about um, them knowing whoever these people who they worked with. They might say, oh, I didn't know they were trying to work against you. But this person was trying to work against you. They had no hope in whatever plan or goal you had. They were going to tell your plans. Ha ha. I don't think they're going to ever go as slow as they're going with them. You were working hard and diligently. Okay, this is giving me like the tortoise and the hare story. You know the tortoise and the hare when um, the, the hare asked the tortoise to go on a race and they're supposed to run a mile race or something like that. And when they started, the, the tortoise was going real slow and the hare was running circles. circles. I mean, doing all type of crazy stuff. We're doing everything but finishing the, the finish line. But the hare just kept going slow and steady. What ended up the, hair, uh, the tortoise ended up doing? They ended up winning the race. And I feel like life isn't a race. That's why you're taking time. These are people who are possibly competing with you. Okay, but not even really because they're not putting no forth the effort to do. You know what I'm saying? To put in the work. Someone just wanted to control what you had going on, okay? Because you were building something long-term for yourself. That's what I'm seeing. And these are people who are in a poverty mindset, who are thinking about fast money, quick money. Then on top of that, trying to set you back once they see that you're making something for yourself. Like, what type of hate that? You 